I'm about to tell you right now. Hey y'all, it's me P and I'm back with another live video. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the family tonight. Thank you so much for coming back. We appreciate all of y'all. I hope y'all can see me. I didn't test out the view. But I'm pretty sure it's going to it's gonna all work out. So we're gonna get straight into it, y'all. I'm not gonna drag it. Y'all know I hate to drag stuff. So today we are cooking shrimp creole with hold on, let me plug my phone back up, y'all. I have a shortage. We're not even gonna get into all that. In my wife. Shrimp creole, fried fish, corn, and excuse me, excuse me. Corn and garlic bread out of toast, the old fashioned way. Um, I think I'm missing one ingredient, and that would be cayenne pepper. But we're gonna try some paprika. Let me take that out because I took everything else out. We're gonna try some paprika and see if that's gonna cut it for our taste. But if not, we'll be just fine. I'm gonna start my dinner by putting and i have the camera pointing this way so we can get in the 4k y'all i ain't even looking at the the chat right now but if y'all in here hey hey what's today wednesday happy wednesday and i'm gonna talk a little bit about my youtube channel but let's get started with the rice because i know people be struggling with the rice y'all yes my grease is used i used it for beans and then a Next day, I used it for fish, which was yesterday, and then today, I'm using it for fish. So, I'm going to put my rice. I'm not measuring by no cup, y'all. Maybe I should be, because sometimes I do make too much rice. But I know how much water I could put in here for this pie, so it's kind of like already made it out because I done cooked with it so many times. But I'm going to clean it, and I guess I'm going to drag y'all this way. Let's see if it's... Hey, hey, how you doing? I don't really want to keep changing frames on y'all, but I'm about to rinse this rice off. So I'm going to bring y'all this way. Let's see. Okay. Thank you, T, for joining the live. So we're going to... Rinse this right, y'all. Y'all should know this part. Rinse it so it go clear as possible. This is parboiled right, y'all. Parboiled. And it's very, very good. You can get it in a great value brain. You can get it in a Zadon Ranch brain. It's the rice almost cooks perfect every time just because it's parboiled. So y'all see it's a little cloudy. And then I'm going to show y'all how I measure it with my finger. I don't know if that's just a down south thing, if it's a black thing, or a people of color thing. I don't know who started it, but I use it faithfully. So, we rinse the rice. Maybe two more times. I know they might have more perfect array to do this, y'all. But um, I'm a little old school, little new school. I'm building. You're kneeling? I'm building. You're building? Okay, yeah. but with our stuff that we need, you know, don't mess, don't mess up our stuff, baby. I know I said it two times, but it was still like super, super cloudy, so let's see. Okay, this is the last yeah. time, y'all. This is it right here. It's not as cloudy as it was. It ain't gonna hurt you. All right, so I use my finger to measure. I'm gonna bring it closer. Let me make sure y'all can see in the pie. And y'all see what a line is on my finger right here? I need a little more water. Cause your finger gotta almost hover over the rice. And I see that's perfect. And this, we gonna put this on the stove first before we start cooking because you want <laughs> yep yeah. shrimp creole yes you're gonna see you had it before so we're gonna start cooking that first y'all on medium high heat i'm gonna also put 
a little cooking mm -hmm. on in the pot, even though this rice don't really need cooking on. Actually, this is canola oil. This rice doesn't really need it, but I'm going to put it because I'm so used to doing it. <laughs> and um, we're going to put some salt in there. Don't forget your salt, y'all. I know some people into different types of salt now, but I love me some real salt. Okay, next thing we're going to start on is our room. This is very important for your shrimp creole. We're going to turn this on. It's already on. I turned on the wrong burner, y'all. Look at me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, we're going to turn this on. Let's see. Should we go back to the fire? I haven't did a room on this stove, so I'm actually going to start at a three. Because I'm not putting much grease in there. I'm only... Let's see. We gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm not putting much grease in. I'm only putting it like at the very bottom of the pan. My hands are black. Okay, baby, your hands are black. Don't touch whatever you're touching. Uh, let's see. Do we need some more? Let me look at how much shrimp. I'm measuring this based upon how much shrimp I'm cooking and uh, how much gravy I want. So let's see how I'm feeling about this. Is this enough? Because this is going to make you thickness and it's going to give you flavor. And then how much seasoning I have. I'm not chopping no fresh seasoning today, y'all. I'm using this season blend. Great value. I've used it before. Onion, celery, red peppers, green peppers, parsley flakes. Perfect for this meal, y'all. It's missing. Only thing is missing is the garlic. So, I'm going to put a little more. Grease. And then, because now at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of it. Okay. I'm going to give you some fancy little containers, y'all. I used to have them, but time. Huh? Uh-uh. You can't be making those accidents, baby, because that's something you know you wasn't supposed to do. Could you pick up all that stuff, please? All in one bag. See, oh, they got the container with the Creole thing. That's good, too. So I'm going to let that heat up, and I'm going to see just how hot it's going to be before I start my roux, which is roux is oil and flour. Um, I don't want too much flour because I don't want it too thick, but I want it too loose. And if it's too loose, I can always come back with, um, with uh, cornstarch if it come out to be too loose. I can always do the cornstarch. So, let me make sure I have my light set up good. That was good. Let me leave it alone. Okay, y'all. Let this get high. Because you don't want your, all, um, your flour to start burning when they hit the pan. So, we got our rice cooking. Because we want our rice to be hot when our food is hot. Once I get the shrimps and everything sauteing in here, that's when I'm going to turn this on because that fish not going to take too long to fry. It's already thawed out. I don't have to season it because this is so freaking good. This fresh fry right here, yo, is so good. I don't even have to season it. Make sure. Oh, thank you, T. Girl, look, I'm about to knock all the pain down. What you said? Hold up, y'all. Let me get my computer. And see, I said that, I, girl, and matter of fact, I was in a meeting with YouTube the other day, and, well, the YouTube Shorts community, and, um, I brought it up to my community, my YouTube Shorts manager, because that's, that's a lot of work. Whew. I'm coming right back, y'all. I haven't went live and cooked in so long. Y'all, it's 10 minutes already. Hold up. I'm slacking. That's why you need a good moderator, yo. She came through with that one. Now, I'm going to put the chicken. 
Okay, we rolling for sure, for sure, man. We rolling. Thank you. I seen they friended you. I was at work, but I was. Oh, huh? Who you two? Yeah, they put me in close friends, but that's a little something they got going on on Instagram. And but we in community shorts, you know that's how I get my gifts and stuff. Shamara is not charged, baby. It's only on twenty five percent. Okay, here, take it until it go day. There you go. Here, please take it. I need All right, watch out. Let me get it. Go that way. It's coming on. Oh, She's yeah, trying to sign yeah. it to the incredible Hulk up in here behind her tablet. So my grease is pretty much warm, y'all. Now we're going to start dropping the flour in. Here, Shamari. Thank you. So I let it warm up on a three. Let's see what that did, y'all. So we're going to shake this in slowly. Make sure it's loose so it can fall out good. So I think I'm going to turn it up. Let's see. I'm going to turn it up to a four. I feel like that might be too much grease. Grease, once it warm up, it um it it loosens up and it gets like more grease than it looks like when you put it in there, y'all. Get what I'm saying? Okay, it's breaking down pretty. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see it. So y'all saw how those clumps disappeared. That's basically what we're about to do, but I just need to get a little bit hotter. Um, let me go to a five. And I'm, I haven't, like I said, it's my first time making a roux on this stove. So I didn't want to ruin, um, I don't want to ruin it. Especially because y'all, I don't even have no cooking oil. That's the last of it right here. So... We definitely can't mess this up. A roux is something, if you mess it up, you got to start over. Ain't no, oh, we can save it with this. Put this in there. Put that in there. No. If it's done, what, what um, Mariah Carey said, when it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, baby. It's over for you. You got to get that roux right. And see how when I shook this on there, it didn't make no loud popping noise. That's what you want. You don't want it to be like, ooh, it's on fire. Uh-uh. This is going to make a really good roux, y'all. Because it's just, it looks like it's almost a perfect amount of oil versus flour. That's pretty. So we do figure eight. This is a figure eight when you move the spoon like this, y'all. One time, I don't know if you, who remember if you watched this, but I think T was on there. I was cooking live, y'all. I was doing the room. My little girl kept running in the kitchen, and I told her to please stop, and she did it anyways and jumped on my back and pushed me into the damn pot, show. But luckily... I caught myself in this splash on my finger. That was it. it just, but it was so hot. It was so hot, y'all. And I had like a whole little ball burn and stuff. Oh, and hold your pipe. If my mama was here, she said, girl, if you don't hold that pipe, y'all hold that pipe. My mama hate when I do that. So what we are doing now is basically cooking the, the flour, y'all. We cooking it and we want it to get thicker and it's going to turn to a brown color whether you believe it or not. It's going to turn brown. It's going to start smelling like I'm about to cook a Thanksgiving Christmas dinner at the same time. Like this smell that the flour and the oil makes y'all is top tier. Like it's amazing. So that's what we doing. And as soon as I feel like that's a good temperature, I mean a good color, we're going to throw our seasoning. Another thing you don't do is stop stirring. You can't stop stirring. I know what I'm doing a little bit, so I'm about to stop and peep at the comments. 
Uh, that eat corn. My cousin, my friend, do that. My friend, do that. Hey, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, T. Yay. How you doing? People still talking. Thank you for joining. I'm also used to cooking my root in the cast iron pan. Not cast iron, yo. I'm lying down. In the, uh, shoot. Let me turn this down over here. I'm going to burn the rice. What am I trying to say? Magnolite. I'm used to making my root in a Magnolite pan. But I have did it in this pan before, so the magnolite, I don't know, it's just hit different, y'all. It's just it's a different thickness. It's just a whole it was just made to do stuff like this. So it's gonna take me a little minute, but I'm not trying to get it too dark. Like if I was cooking a gumbo, I I it'll take longer. It'll take much, much longer. But um, I don't need it that dark. I just really need it to a nice little brownish color, light brown, and I want that flavor that this gonna give you. So I'm not gonna be stirring too too long, but this could take up to 15 minutes plus to get this at a good color. Y'all see the rice bake that cooking is almost done. This is a really easy meal. I do want to say that. I know it might seem like a lot just because of this part right here. But this is extremely easy and quick, y'all. It's not going to take me long to do it at all. Um, I'm already prepped with everything. It's not going to take much time at all. Sometimes I put crab in this. You could put sausage with your shrimp and that make it taste really really good but today I'm just doing shrimp I see a little flower trying to stick over here I'm scraping that off going to a circle for a minute and you want to do this lightly y'all very light and slow when you first start now because you do not want this the splash on you okay this is pure high grease mixed with flour, baby. You do not want this touching. It's starting to smell good, y'all. Starting to smell real good. Now, I am going to have some popping from my season because my season is pre frozen and it's got water and all that on it. So, I know how to drop it and jump. I'm going to do the drop and jump and I'm going to warn y'all before I do it. So y'all can know I'm okay. But I am definitely gonna be dropping and jumping back just slightly. Slightly. But I am gonna turn my heat down. You always turn the heat down before you start dropping the season. I should have dumped it in a container. How did you think about it? So it smell real good. Do y'all see how drastic the color has changed within the last I don't know how many minutes y'all watching. Y'all could leave me a comment and tell me how long I've been stirring. But y'all see how this color changed? Like, just look at that pretty caramel color, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our playlist. We have recipes and we have live cooking with Pete. Um, I've done live videos cooking often. And I also do my personal recipes where I do voiceovers. So if you want to see what we have, definitely go scroll through our channel on the playlist section. And check that out. We've been updating our playlist since we got so many new subscribers. I just really appreciate y'all. We have 7,000 plus subscribers right now, yo. My goal for this year was 10K, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hitting that soon. So I had to boost my goal to 20K. It's only right. It's only right. We already halfway to 10K. Might as well go up a notch. All right, y'all. This color is the color I'm going to go ahead and stick with. 
turn that off. That's beautiful. Let's just take a minute to appreciate the color of this room. We're going to get into it. That is so pretty. It smells so good. And I'm going to go ahead and get my seasoning. Again, I told you I'm using this blend paint. I'm about to cut it. And we're going to shake this in slowly. Have my spoon ready. So I have to jump back. You got to stir that in there good. And that's how you make a room, y'all. So now we got the pot all. The pan, rather. The pan is already old. And we're going to let that get soft. Get the rest of this out. Because we want oil and vegetables, y'all. Because all this going on with the meal. I want onions in every bite. I don't know if you're an onion person. But give me onions in every bite, please. <laughs> Throw this away. Look how pretty, yo. That's a good rule. It's successful. It took very, very well to the season to say it had water on it. I'm glad I took it out to thaw. It is thawed out. I should have said that, y'all. I did thaw this season out um, before I let it go into that height. Rule. And look, y'all. See, it make it darker a little bit. So, that's the rule. Baby, a oh, baby. <laughs> Basically, that's the shrimp creole. So now I'm gonna turn my pot, my pan back on, and we're gonna add some diced tomatoes. I feel left out because I'm allergic. Oh no! You gotta get some Benadryl. No, <laughs> no, I do not condone eating what you know you're not supposed to. So I'm about to add these diced tomatoes, y'all. I'm mad. I'm mad at all that. <laughs> Juice. I'm used to the other kind, but I wanted that flavor, that mild flavor. Come on out of there. So with the Creole, the Creole always means tomatoes, okay? I didn't put it all. I still got a little bit in there because I feel like that's a good balance of tomatoes. And we basically want that for flavor and color. So I'm going to mash those. And I'm turning my heat up to four. So all they can cook. Oh my goodness. That looks good. Actually, I'm not mad at that juice pouring in there now. Because it wasn't that much. It was really tomato juice. So I'm smashing... We're going to smash some of them onions and stuff while we're trying to smash these tomatoes, yo. I'm trying to decide, should I do more tomatoes or is that enough? But I think that's enough. So, I'm going to start seasoning with... I just started using this, y'all. It's not bad. Thanks for all the likes. I appreciate y'all. If you haven't liked it, please do. All-purpose Creole season. The reason why I like it so much is because the sodium is kind of low compared to the other ones that I had um, looked at that day. Because I like to try new stuff sometimes. So we're just going to put that on there. Some garlic powder. We're not putting salt in here. We have salt in our rice. We are putting black pepper because that's just what I do. That's enough. We have parsley already in the stuff, but y'all know we got to add our parsley. The parsley was already mixed with the seasoning. I'm adding the old bay, y'all. You guys to have the old bay in the cabinet. It is a must. And 
the last of my come on man season this is really good y'all this was my first time trying it as y'all can see it wasn't much in there but i just wanted it and a couple pinches of sugar no y'all wasn't probably expecting me to say that but yes we putting some sugar in there y'all this is pure cane sugar that's gonna take some of that acidity away and it just give it a nice savory flavor so we're gonna mix all of that together the season is going to change the color a little more red. I could have put a little tomato paste up in here too, but we got the, the raw tomato, so we good. Sometimes I like tomato paste, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I cook things different. It just depends. Now that smell, that's it. That's it right there, y'all. We're not in no more season, no more tomatoes, nothing. I'm going to turn this pot on. A walk. It's a walk. Hold it. I got to sneeze, y'all. Hold it. <laughs> it ain't seasoning if you ain't sneezing, baby. Oh, let me wash my hands. Yo, if y'all could smell... You gotta smell it. Okay. So next, we preparing to do our um. Let me turn the rice all the way out. The rice is done. Preparing to do our fish. I got it on six. This was my first time frying in a wok, and it did not disappoint. Did not. I do my fried rice up in the wok. <laughs> Thank you. Put sugar in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can I shout you out? Ooh. ooh. Whew. Been a drill in gloves, huh? <laughs> Can I shout you out? Shout out some more, please. <laughs> You got to send a, a super chat for me to say the whole name. I'm just <laughs> super chat me, please. All right, so, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp, and then we're going to cover that up. Because the fragrance that I'm getting, them shrimp ready to go in there. The shrimp is ready to go in. So I'm going to rinse them off one more time. Okay, y'all, we got some raw shrimps. They were once frozen right from Walmart. Y'all, don't be scared to buy shrimp from Walmart, but make sure it's raw and not cooked. If they orange already, you do not want them. Unless you have a certain something that you just really like that. But I don't cook with pre-cooked shrimp, ever. So we're going to make sure they get dropped all around. And I'm going to mix some up. This is a lot more shrimp than I expected it to be. And I <laughs> rinsed them and looked at them and ain't never think it was that much shrimp. That's a lot of shrimp. But that's going to make the meal so much better. I'm washing my hands, y'all. So let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's good, y'all. 
Now, if you felt like it wasn't enough gravy and you wanted more, me personally, me and my family, we good with this. But if you wanted more gravy, you could take some bouillon, a bouillon cube, drop up in there and drop you some water. You could boil you some water with, like, make you a little shrimp stock. You could add shrimp stock to this to make it more um, looser. But this is really what I was going for right here. So I'm going to leave it at this. Make sure it's all blended. And then I'm about to put my top on. You want to put the shrimps in raw so they can soak up all that flavor. Let me... Do my girls like seafood? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, they do. My girls have mukbangs on our channel. Well, yeah, they got a couple of Sorry, y'all. You can check out our um, mukbang playlist. And y'all can see them tying up some shrimps and some crabs and stuff. On there. Snow crabs and all. I'm talking about Shamar was like one year old. All right, so we're putting the top on there. Let me come. Hey, Tay. What's up, girl? So let's see. This is getting hot, y'all. Now we can put our fish in. This is almost done. This is done. This is getting hot. Do I still want to do this garlic braid? Do I have time? I don't feel like I have time for the garlic braid to be hot on time. We about to see y'all. So I'm taking my fish to get ready to braid it. I'm coming over there with the fish. Throw this away. Fish from Walmart too. Tilapia. I know some people not real tilapia fans, but we are. Again, this is the, uh, wait, what is it? Louisiana. Somebody. I don't know. Let me wash my hands real quick again, y'all. Oh, I had it over here for y'all. So this is the Cajun fish fry, Cajun crispy fish fry by Louisiana. I do my garlic bread in the air fryer. It takes no time. Well, child, I'm gonna have to invest in the air fryer. <laughs> I know it's not gonna take long, but. My grease hot. I'm scared to burn my stuff. I'm about to see. And I got to cook this corn, too. So I'm going to shake this around. So it get on there. I can't really. Let me turn the camera this way. Because this is a big old piece of fish, y'all. And I need it covered. This is what I did yesterday. Almost. And I'm going to pat it in there. Shake it. See how much come off. And do it one more time. Now I'm going to test my grease. Which I really know I don't really need to test it. Because I see it smoking. Turn my fin on. And I'm going to try the fish in there. That's a big old piece of fish, though. <coughs> <coughs> I'm just doing the same thing to that second piece of fish that I have.
cake meat in there and I'm gonna drop it right next to that one. This little piece came over. I'm going to go ahead and drop that little piece in there too. Now we're going to let that fry. I'm not going to touch it just yet. I'm going to wash these couple of things I have over here to wash those. Take the top off so we can see what this shrimp creole looking like, yo. I need to blow my nose. That season, I got to me. I'm about to wash my hands one more time. I, even though I'm using Kleenex now. Let's see what this is giving. Now I see it even made some more liquid up in there from them shrimp. So if I would have added any more, y'all, it would have been way too much liquid. This looks so good. That is perfect. That is so right thickness it's not too loose not too thick i'm pretty proud of this y'all i'm glad i came to show y'all i'm so glad i showed y'all this y'all see how easy that was we are done yes we done y'all this is it Let me do a little finger test. That's for them shrimp. That will be gonna make them shrimp up. That's all the season I'm gonna add to there. I'm gonna turn it down some more. And I'm gonna let it finish simmering for like maybe another 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna let it simmer on two, two and a half for 10 minutes. And call it a day, y'all. Let's check on our fish. It's getting crispy. 
It's a little dark because like I told y'all, I used it for fish the other day, yesterday. So it had a little residue up in there. again that's a real thick piece of fish um let's see i really want this bread y'all so i'm gonna start the bread say i'm about to do bread with uh sliced bread too. i got a few more slices of some great value bread that i'm gonna take over here and season up right quick um let's see I got to get some more pans and stuff again, yo, so I'm about to use. Hi. I'm about to use this pan to put my bread in my toast. Let me get another little piece of butter in. I'm going to do half a stick of butter, almost, because I'm about to do, like, probably this whole thing of bread, because I know my children like bread. I'm about to get ready to take that fish out before I fully start the uh, bread, but I just want to take this out. What, baby? I'm going to put this in the microwave on... One. I'm going to take that out. It's almost done, Shamari. It's almost done. Go ahead. You can go sit down. I'm about to call you. <coughs> I'm going to put the... Okay, so that's done. Again, it's a little dark, y'all, but it's good. It's good. It's rolling. I already know this. So I'm going to cover it up with a piece of um, napkin and sit it to the side and hurry up and do this bread. You never had fried tilapia. You got to get that. She about, yeah, <laughs> you got me home about these spicy noodles, my chicken stuff pro. Oh my God. Hey, King Morgan, thanks for joining. Only bake with lemon. You got to try fried. With some homemade onion rings and some macaronis. Baby, when I tell you that was my meal every Friday for a long time. Let's check this from Creole again, y'all. It done made some more liquid. The smell is smelling. Oh, my goodness. My children about to set this up. They gonna sleep good tonight. Get them a good bath after this. I should have gave it some before. They gonna sleep good tonight, y'all. Let me do my finger test. Oh, yeah. You don't want too much season on something like this because you want the, I don't know, like you want the vegetables and the shrimp flavor to come out more than Cajun. Everybody think Cajun means I'm about to dump this whole thing up here and it's going to make my food taste good. That's not true. Don't ever think, look how much of this I got. I done had this for about two months. Don't ever think you need a bunch of this type of stuff to make your food taste good. 
old bed. I just bought the old bed. You can't see how much in there, but I don't use a lot of this stuff. I had this garlic powder for about three months. Since I moved here, I bought this. When I moved here, the beginning of February. So, oh Lord Jesus, I can't stress that enough. Let me, let me start on my bread, y'all. Okay, so we got some melted butter. And I can't see y'all comments. The phone is turned around so we could get it in 4K, baby. That's good, P. Me, thank you. I'm gonna turn my pan even lower. I'm gonna turn it all the way to low because I see it's still trying to cook, cook. So I just turned it to low and I'm gonna let some of the steam go out as well so it don't reduce down to nothing on me. And I'm gonna get my small pot for my corn. That's what we doing. And I don't have no pot. Oh, I so I'm going to use some of this season for my garden. Yeah, the food done. Yeah, the food done. Finally, I'll Wipe play. your hands off. Oh, I am. Oh, God, Mom, that's the food done. I, unless y'all want to wait for the bread, get a bread about five minutes. I'm going to wait for the bread. I'm going to dump some of that juice out that corn. And all I put in my corn to season, y'all, is pepper. Is some pepper and butter, of course, butter. What this is, about? A tablespoon, that's just one can. That's enough butter. Um, I, I think people put sugar on the corn. I guess you could put sugar. I do like sweet corn. But I'm just putting butter, uh, pepper. Give that a quick little mix, and then we're going to do this toast. Whoever watched this, I just really appreciate y'all. Y'all don't know. <coughs> Bless me. The season, y'all. I actually can move this. Let's see. Right now I have two, three, four, five slices of bread. So that's really like a slice per per person. I'm gonna use the same one. I'm using a sturdy corn and drizzle. Let me bring y'all closer this way. Oh wait, hold up. I gotta unplug y'all from the charger. Corn nuggets. Yeah, that's the uh. Alright, hold up, Shamara. It's not working. What, Shamari? Wait, get out. It's hot right here, baby. Get out the kitchen for me. Hold up, Shamari. garlic powder they call it a uh, hush puppies that's what you're talking about the frozen corn it's called hush puppies up in uh the stove and i mean people call it hush puppies too i know i call it hush puppies i'm gonna put a little bit of this shh, 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 shh. okay i'm gonna put a little bit of this creole season a very little bit And that's mommy. it. So we got garlic powder mommy. and Creole season. Mm, or oh, in parsley. Uh. Pete about to get jumped. Do you hear it? Because they ready to eat, y'all. Yeah, they ready to eat. 
I'm just cooking, y'all not eating. Well, y'all want the food to taste good. Don't nobody walk right here. I'm opening the oven. Opening the oven. Took me an hour to do this. I don't want any bread. You don't want any bread. Okay, let me fix your plate. That's how we're saying you could give me mine now. That's choice for saying <laughs> you could give me my food now, nah, baby. I don't need no bread. That's basically what Shamara just said. Okay, we got paper plates. We got plastic forks. Cause who about to be washing a bunch of people's plates and forks and all that? Well, I gotta put your food in it, baby. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit to cook that corn. Since they're rushing. Yes, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Rally, I need to move. I'm on my YouTube. Mom, I can move these when I add these. I'm gonna move these to the camera. Okay, Shamari. Okay. Thank you, Shamari. Let me put the light on Riley. Hold up. 
Not the fact that I just slaved over a high school. And a thank you, Shamari. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah, y'all know the story about Hush Puppies. Yay. Riley, it's nasty. It's nasty, but what you chewing, Riley? The meatballs. This not no Leia Monet. That one's trying to do. I'm trying to do it. Okay. Can you see me starting to All I heard was the sound going up and up and up. So, Riley. How you feel about it now? Nasty. It's still nasty? Yeah, y'all, so that's how the children feel about the food. It's yummy? Yeah. Anybody want a piece of fish? Do you have sauce? Do I have sauce? What you, what you mean? Sausage? Oh, you want more sauce? That's a lot of sauce. I don't taste. You don't taste it? <laughs> Y'all. <I don't> <laughs> what you say, Shamari? I want a fish. You want a piece of fish? Because all I'm eating is half of one of these big fishes, yo, and I'm going to get another whole fish to eat. Yeah, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Anybody want fish? Yeah. Riley, I mean, Alea. You want a piece of fish? Y'all, look how big this fish is. You want a piece of fish? Let me get y'all braid out. The braid is done. I'm going to probably let it get a little more crispy. What y'all think? Wait, wait. Be careful. I'm going to take it out. I can't see it. Okay, I'm going to let you see it. I might have to make some move. Let me bring it over here. Don't touch it. It's hot. Mm, this the braid, y'all. Ooh. Just like my mom and my daddy used to make. All right. I'm gonna cut that bread in half with a butter knife. She called you a cookie. Y'all please be nice to each other. Okay, let me give y'all y'all bread. You really want more sauce? You eat all your corn, Shamari? She got, she pretty much ate it. It's less than what she had when I first gave it to the baby. It's almost gone. What about the meatballs? I don't have no meatballs, no. I heard you say meatballs. I don't even ever say meatballs. All right, y'all, I'm about to make bread for them. I think I'm gonna make his plate. Y'all, I don't have no cola. I don't. Two thumbs. With the bread. With the bread. Two thumbs down, Riley. Wow. Thank you. Two thumbs up, Shamari. I think I'm gonna make bay plate on that pink plate. I don't have no glass plates. I didn't want the ones that I had, y'all. Um, hold up. Let me put this over here for mine. Okay, I'm about to make your food right now. Huh? Okay. I got down right quick, you know. <laughs> Y'all 
to see what I'm doing? No, y'all can ask. Let me come back. Oh, Leah. Oh, Leah. Turn it down. Her headphone disconnected, but I'm, I'm working. We put that gravy on there because Liz said it wasn't enough on her plate. Oh, man. I have a little sauce. A little bit more. It's giving y'all. You heard your mouth? Oh, okay. Let me go bring it to your baby. I think green. No, she was eating that red candy. So, so I'm just gonna make my plate right quick. I want my bread. Put me a little rice. Y'all see how much rice that is? That I was a good amount. Anything. You need more of everything. Yeah. Y'all heard a little. All right, lady. Eating good tonight and stuff. Let me, 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 What's that? Your mouth still? You must have bit your jaw or something. Yeah, yeah she always do that. I'm going to fix you some juice. I want my bread. I want my bread. I'll give you some more bread. I want my bread. Yeah. Y'all just can't stop talking about how good it smells. I can't wait to. I still haven't tasted it. Me a good bit of shrimp and gravy. Oh, some got on my fish and I ain't mad at it at all. Okay. Now I'm gonna taste it for y'all. Let me turn it this way. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she tasted it. <laughs> Oh, yes. More bread. Let me I see. Want bread. Let me put a filter. I want that one. Yes. Feel free, y'all. Let me do a taste test. What's on my fork? Oh, that's the plastic. The flavor is very light. Like, it's not too spicy. It don't have no 
Cake. It is flavor. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I want to taste that juice on the fish. I've been imagining this all day. Mm -hmm. See how they juice such in that fish right there, y'all? Mm -hmm. I need that. Y'all, if y'all want to cook this at home, please run this video back. Follow the steps. I guarantee you can do it at home. You got pieces of connecting and. Mm -hmm. See that fish got the kids in. You never want a kick, kick, kick on your plate. You don't want this to be spicy. My Fish butt, spicy, my bread butt. spicy, my corn butt. spicy. My bread, my bread, my bread. Y'all stick with me. Hey. I won't stay y'all wrong. Hey, hey, hey. I gotta finish this off camera. Hey, 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 Listen, I want more baby. bread. She want more bread. You getting it out there, Lil? I'm sorry, baby. You know I'm trying to multi-taste. I'm sweating and everything. Bread. Bread. I got a ketchup bread. cake right bread. here, too, Lil. You got two ketchup cakes. You ain't want no ketchup. Yes. Hilly. Mm -hmm. Give me this. Yeah, now you want ketchup, too. Riley, share with the ketchup. All right, show them. My bread, this my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread. And make Leo a second plate, but I'm going to eat. They got me up. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to cater to them. And then I'm going to come back in the kitchen and clean everything that needs to be clean. But I did wash, I did wash these dishes. I don't have no dishes in the thing besides these pots that's about to be clean. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Watch my playlist. Watch my recipes. Keep supporting us because we're not going to stop. Y'all never know what's going to come. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all can say bye. Bye. And let's subscribe. And like and subscribe. Yes, I'm out too. Thank you so much, Chi. Thank y'all. Thank you, Tay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mother of Twins. Thank y'all so much. Boom chicka la la. Boom chicka la la.